Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful golden roses seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. I'm also using really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular earring findings so I'm sure you will find them in your stash. Okay, uh, I've noticed that you like a lot elegant and classic earrings, uh, lacy ones and uh, roses and so on. That is why I decided to make this tutorial to continue this line of work. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. You also help me by liking, sharing and commenting. And you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials. Link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations mainly on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget that if you don't want to listen to the intro, now I have timestamps and you could go directly to the work itself. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads. These are golden and matte black color and here I'm using earring findings also in old gold color. This is nylon thread, the brand is Nymo, this is size D and the thickness is 0.2 millimeters, black color. Here I use size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or 12, whatever you like. And here I use scissors and uh, you could use also pliers to go through the difficult beads, but they are not obligatory. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now what I'm going to pick up are six golden beads. Okay, and I have here my six on my needle, K6. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then I will make one more knot just like this. Okay. Now guys, I have this. In my next step, I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay. Just like this and you see this looks like a circle already. And now what I'm going to take now are two black beads. Okay, two blacks. And as I'm exiting through this golden here, I'm going back in circle through the same golden. Okay. And I pull. Now you see I have something like a loop between those beads and I pull again. Okay. And now what I'm going to take are two more black beads. And as I'm exiting through this golden, I'm going back through the same golden, just like this. And I pull, I'm going back in circle. So I have a loop here again between this bead and the newly added two black beads. Then I go through the following golden that's on my way. You see where I'm exiting and I'm going to repeat this. Take two, go through here and if you want in one movement you could also go through the next golden just to save one movement and just to save time. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm ready here with my last step. And what I'm going to do now is exit here through this black seed bead from the inner circle to the outside. And I'm going to pick up one golden bead here. And as I'm exiting through this black, I'm going through the other black. You see? Okay, now this is what I have. Now I'm going through the following black. You see where? In my next black. And I'm taking one golden. And just to save time, now I'm going through this black and through the following. Because otherwise I should do this in two movements. Okay. Now I have this. Now I'm taking one seed bead and I go through the following two black beads. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this and in my next row, what I want to do is go through this golden bead here and I'm going to pick up five golden beads. Okay, I have my five beads here and as I'm exiting through this golden, I'm going through the next one. You see? This is what I have now. And I'm going to pick up five goldens again. Okay. Five. And I go through the next golden. I'm trying not to hide with my fingers what I'm doing, especially in the beginning when I start my work, because you told me I'm doing this okay now guys I guess you know what to do you should continue this until the end of this row by the way thanks to all of you that tell me what mistakes I make because it makes me better in doing videos okay i'm ready with this row and pay attention where you go uh, in the last step here through this one don't make the mistake to go through this one sometimes new bidders do this mistake i did it in the beginning okay so now i'm going here through three more beads because I want to exit through the central one of these five that I added. Okay, I'm exit through this one. I have here one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, this is from the previous row. Okay, and now what I want to take are three black beads. And uh, what I do is that I go back in circle through this golden. In circle, you see, making a loop like I did before then what I do is go here through these three beads including the angle bead and pull then I go in my next golden just like this okay so I'm skipping this angle bead here and I'm going through the next one and now what I do is that I take one black bead and I'm going back here through the one before the angle, through the angle and through the one that I'm exiting out of, which is after the angle. Okay, this is what I do. Now, in order to go through the middle of these five 
that I added last. I'm going through two beads. Okay, here I have one, two, one, two. This is the middle one. Take three black beads and go back through this middle bead here. Okay, now go in one movement through the angle bead. Then go through the following golden in second movement. Then again, what I did before, take just one black and repeat it. Go back in circle through these three beads in the center here where the angle is. You see where I'm going. Okay. Then through the following. Okay. And through the next two because in this way I'm find, finding the center where I want to add three black beads. Okay, and I'm going back here. Then the same thing, go through these three exiting out of this inner angle. Then go through the following golden Then take just one black and go back through these three beads. First to the one before the angle, then through the angle, and then through the following. And you will also go through the next two beads in order to find the center okay guys continue this until the end if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind the video and repeat these steps from here and uh, when i'm ready i'll be back okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last seed bead again if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat from one side to the other okay now in my next step what I'm going to do is go here at the top of my work, okay. I want to go through one of the beads that are sticking out the most, okay, this one. Then what I do is that I flip my work. It's not obligatory, but as I'm right-handed, it's easier for me. If you're left-handed, maybe it will be easier for you to go in the other direction. It is possible to go in any directions. You won't just find which one is easier for you. Okay, now I'm exiting through this black bead. And what I want to do is take two blacks and go through this one here in the middle. Okay, and just pull. Then take two black beads again and go through this one here. And just pull. Go through the next two. Like this. Add two. Go here. And fill this gap. I don't know about you, but I've always like the rows where the main line is drawn already. And you just fill in the gaps. Do you like those rows as well? Tell me in the comments if you want. Okay, so now what I do is that I continue this until the end of this row. And I'm sure if you have done everything up to here, you will be able to make this row by yourself because it's really pleasant and really easy okay see you in a while okay guys and now i'm here where i'm adding my last two beads from this row okay just like this and now guys what i want to do is go through this top bead here 
then I want to go through two more black beads in this direction and I'm going to pick up three golden beads and where I'm going in the same place two beads away from this top bead okay and I add this three beads here okay then what I do is that I go through the top bead and through the following two you see where I'm going this is the top and these are two after that and I take three okay then I skip one two three and I go through these two and after that is my top or my angle call it whatever you like okay then what I do is that I go through two more beads in this direction after the angle take three and skip the following three one the angle one so it's three and go through the next two okay and then go through this angle okay now I'm going to continue these three more times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here at my last step and I'm going in the same place like I did before and what I do is that I'm exiting out of this angle bit okay so now guys I have this and in my next row I'm going to pick up nine golden beads okay I have my nine goldens here and now I skip this and I go in the next angle nine beads now I'm going to pick up nine more okay oops I have eight I want to have nine okay like this and I'm skipping this one and going through the following angle okay I'll show you one more time and let you do this until the end of this row okay see you in a while okay guys and I'm back and here I'm adding my last angle bead in the same place like I did before just like this now what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction and I will exit here one golden bead away from this angle here one golden bead away and I'm going to pick up five black beads okay I have here my five and as I'm exiting through this golden I'm skipping the golden the black and the golden and I'm going in the following beads okay now I have this beautiful angle here and what I'm going to do next is go again through all of those beads until I exit here one bead away from this last golden that separates me from the black part here okay and now what I'm going to pick up are five black beads okay I have my five and I'm skipping golden black and golden the three in the center and I'm going in this direction through as many beads as I can okay just to save time if it's easier for you do it with more than one or two movements okay but I'm aiming here 
for this um, place where is one golden away from the black angle and now what I'm going to pick up are five black beads okay now I have my five I'm skipping golden black and golden the angle beads and again I'm going in this direction okay guys and I'm going to continue these three more times and if you forgot how I'm doing it rewind the video and repeat this part from here and I'll be back okay guys and here I am at my last step you see where I'm exiting okay like this so at this last step where I want to exit are one two three four beads away from here from this golden so it's five golden from the edge one two three four five and four from here okay now here what I want to take are five golden beads okay five and as I'm exiting here through the central bead you see here I have one two three four one two three four and I'm going here in this middle black bead okay just like this then again I'm taking five goldens okay I have here my five and I want to go in the middle bead here so these were nine beads so when I count one two three four five I'm going through the fifth one counting if, if I count from this black edge it's the fifth one and it is the central and here before it before this one I have one two three four beads and after this one I'm exiting out of I have one two three four beads this is the way you find the center so now I'm taking five again okay five and I'm going here then again five and I'm going in the central one okay one two three four fifth counting from the angle okay then again five go here and I think you get the idea and you could continue this until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads pay attention where I'm going don't make the mistake to go through this or through this one okay and now I'm going to go around reinforcing my work I just like how uh, my edge looks when I go second time through it make a new thread pad reinforce it call it whatever you like okay so now go around and I'll see you in a while okay guys and I went around through all of my beads and now what I want to do is uh, attach my earring finding and in order to attach it I want to exit here at this place where my golden loops meet and uh, I'm exiting one golden bead away from the angle so now what I want to take are two black beads then I want to take my earring finding and then I want to take two more black beads okay this is what I have and as I'm exiting here one golden bead away from this angle I'm going in the same place 
one golden bead away from the angle and when I pull I have this nice loop of beads and my earring finding in the middle and then what I want to do is reinforce it and in order to do this I'm repositioning my thread because I want to exit again through this loop I just made here if it's difficult for you you could use your pliers to go through the beads okay now I'm going here around those beads you could go several times reinforcing this loop okay and I will reinforce this one more time okay and now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm making it I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made I pull then I go through the following seed bead and then I cut my thread okay now my golden rose seed bead earring is ready okay guys so now my golden roses seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice or three times a week if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a help this is down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me